This challenge needs no introduction. Sneak attacks are like treats. It's okay to have one every now and then, but too many, and you become this slow-moving blob with a single goal in mind. More treats. In today's video, we'll be finding out if you can beat Fallout 3 using only sneak attacks. The tutorial plays out as normal. Don't judge my specials, this was mostly guesswork on my part. The first enemy is, as always, the Radroach. Only this time we don't have to worry, we can just hunker down and… Oh. Can you not watch me, please? Huh. In order to get past this without breaking any rules or bending logic to make the game playable, we can use vats to attack the Radroach, eventually miss, hide from the grown-ups, attack from the shadows, and use vats to get your picture taken. After getting the gun from Amata, I tried killing Kendall, failed, tried hiding, failed, and reloaded to give it another go. This time, one shot was all it took. I did the same to a Radroach, to Butch, to the officers guarding the tunnel, and then ran for the vault's entrance. But I didn't leave the cave. Instead, I hid behind the outside wall. A martyr went through a door and appeared behind me, not sure how. And the guards didn't much like it either, because they knocked her out. After some time, the guards stopped looking for me, and by quickly popping out from behind cover and using vats, I was able to kill the remaining guards using only sneak attacks. Now that I was outside, I wanted to get some more points into sneak and small guns, the two main skills I would be using. So I disarmed the bomb, increased them, and went to go get the sniper rifle and stealth boy inside the hollowed out rock. The sniper rifle is one of the best weapons for dealing critical hits, and the stealth boy would be useful for obvious reasons. I went the long way around town so I could take out more mole rats from a better position, but then I saw him, Sam Warwick, a lone raider with a bad attitude. Whatever. I got better things to do. Ah, just getting... <laughs> 200 IQ, or whatever it is you kids say these days. Silencio, old man! A few mole rats later, I looted the rock, and went to Springvale Elementary to get used to my new ninja lifestyle. The raiders here weren't an issue. I managed to get two sneak attacks by using the sniper rifle from a distance and shooting through the broken windows. And then I snuck inside to get a third. It wasn't as exciting as I would have liked, nor as challenging, so I went to the broken overpass to kill some more raiders. Mostly it boiled down to sneaking up to one, killing them, and then running away to hide until the coast was clear. A cowardly, but sound, tactic. The second half of the highway was cleared from a distance using the sniper rifle, and I was pretty confident the challenge was possible. So much so, I went to the nearby barn and made some fleshy confetti. So good. A little further away, I noticed two super mutants, and thought it was a good idea to see how difficult they were going to be. Vault 87 was a thing, after all. After getting shot, the super mutant started running to where the bullet was fired from. This led me to run further back and wait for them to calm down so I could shoot them in the back. I did this for both of them and then increased the difficulty. Skipping ahead to Smith Casey's, I missed the easiest shot ever. Tried again using vats, missed again. You suck! With the mole rats taken care of, there isn't anything left to attack, just rescue Dog Dad and agree to go with him to Bolt Town. 
Across the river, I went up against the Christmas Raiders. Got one, did my first desk pop, got another, and then played cat and mouse for about five minutes with the third. Outside the Jefferson Memorial, I spent a really long time dealing with super mutants. The same way as before, shoot, run away, shoot again. This worked for every mutant, except the last one since they saw me, so I ran away, waited, and took the kill from afar. At Rivet City, I bought a silenced 10mm pistol and moved the scientist to the purifier where things happened. I tried using grenades to clear the mutants, but as soon as they hit the floor they started looking for me, so that was a bust. I did try placing frag mines too, and I figured that if they went off while I was hidden, it counted as a sneak attack, right? That might have a few of you grating your teeth, cut that shit out, no frag mines went off, so don't worry. I ended up attacking, running away if they didn't die, waiting, and returning to finish the job. After a while I determined the silence pistol to be too weak. It did the job, it just wasn't quick enough. So I swapped it out for a hunting rifle, and cleared the memorial using tactics only taught to special forces and farmers. I do for this one. He does for this one. He does for this one. The final enemy I had to sneak up on was a centaur who, for some reason, kept seeing me at the last second, rendering the attack invalid. But after some time conditions were favourable, and the most beautiful yet equally disgusting limb I've ever seen poked out from behind cover. After the scientists came inside, Alex and Daniel took a nap so they didn't attract enemies in the tunnels later on. I couldn't find Gaza, but all good things come to those who wait. Except for Dad. Before the Enclave arrived, I increased the difficulty to normal. The hunting rifle wasn't strong enough, so I went with the sniper rifle, which almost did the job. To contrast that, a sneak attack from the pistol did nothing? Nor did the hunting rifle. But then it did. This game, I swear to God. Watch your profanity. In the sewers, I waited about 40 seconds for the door to open, experienced this weird occurrence, and came to the room where the followers usually die. I actually managed to scalp one of the soldiers without being seen, but the other just wasn't possible, so I ran away, hid from the ghouls, and sprinted for the exit because, no matter what, I was constantly on caution. I'm blaming Dr. Lee for that one. Why are you so stupid? <laughs> Citadel, Vault 87, Gek, you know the drill. On the way to Little Lamplight, I shot some Brahmin, just wanted to, and made it to Kid City. The only problem was I didn't have the child at heart perk. I figured I would just reload and try again until I was in. I'm waiting! The mutants at Murder Pass were slow going, lots of running away to hide, sometimes having to leave the area for several hours before it was safe to try again. I also started using the sniper rifle specifically on the brutes because the hunting rifle just wasn't cutting it. Vault 87 was a strange place. It was very dark, which was useful, but most mutants came in pairs, meaning I almost always had to run away. And sometimes leaving the area didn't work, which led me to backtracking all the way to the entrance to get away, and in one instance, I even had to go further than that in order to de-aggro a very persistent super mutant. Near the chamber I consumed enough pills to support a rave, and collected the Gek with minimal sickness. Not gonna lie, 
I have never been more excited to see that bouncy ball in my entire life. After some light BDSM, Eden got jealous and requested a one-to-one. -one. I grabbed my things, got shouted at, and thanks to Eden telling the boys to leave me alone, I had free reign to sneak attack a whole host of Enclave soldiers. For a limited time, of course. Anna Holt got what she deserved, I did what I could, and used my first stealth boy because, although I was close to seeing Eden and I could have run away, sometimes you just really need something to die. Eden was his usual self, very impressionable and apparently suicidal. During the escape I simply ran right to the exit, only stopping to deal with the Tesla soldiers. The only thing left to do was report back to the Citadel and storm the memorial. This time I took the recon armor, my sneak skill was already at 100, but I'm pretty sure it can go beyond what the Pip-Boy displays. Either way, I followed Liberty Prime. It's been a while since we tried getting this guy. Nice. Inside the memorial I did the same as before, only instead of running away from the mutants and shooting them in the back, it was soldiers. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. After several more sneak attacks, I stepped inside the rotunda. And it's important to mention that if you enter using the left door, Autumn will automatically speak to you. But if you use the right door, you still have free will. Autumn was there. I was hidden. I lined up my sights and took the shot. I know what you're thinking. How can someone be this bad at Fallout 3? Say no more. The Tesla soldiers didn't turn hostile, which allowed me to take both kills, sneakily, might I add, and then activate the purifier without even speaking to Autumn. I was trying to enter the code while hidden, but it turns out I'm too sick for that. So I made Sarah do it instead, and the run was officially complete. So to answer the question, can you beat Fallout 3 using only sneak attacks? Yes, yes you can. Be sure to show your support by liking the video and subscribing if you haven't already for more Fallout content. If there's anything you would like to see in a later video, leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. With that said, thank you as always for watching and I'll see you in the next adventure.